How much does a man have to make to be with you? One million dollars. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> you guys need to hear this again, man. You guys need to hear this again. You didn't hear this wrong. Hear this. This is the mentality of the modern Western women. Please hear this. How much does a man have to make to be with you? One million dollars. <laughs> have to make to be with you. One million dollars. <laughs> Look at my man's face. <laughs> Looked at the camera like, are y'all listening to this? Are y'all listening to this? Are you walking around dressed like a cheap $2 hoe with all your goods hanging out. And you're talking about you need a man to mix $1 million. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching, man. What? <laughs> This is why, like, we can't find love in 2023. So, like, 2024 now is going to get worse. Why one minute? You got to give me, like, half of that. So You got to give me. So the guy is just obligated to give you f half a million. So you're entitled to half of his, prop of, of his property, of his finances, because he's dating you. Does this make any logical sense? These women out here just thinking at the ass, man. She's slow. She, she's got to be slow. Why one minute? You got to give me like half of that so you can have 500 to yourself. So he keep 500 and he give you 500. She sounded like she, like she has, like it's her money. That's the mindset she has. It's not your money if you're dating her. It's her money. You earned it, but it's hers. By rights in her own twist of mind. This is what am I? It's my ears mal malfunctioning. Am I hearing this correctly? Five hundred to yourself. So he keep five hundred, and he give you five hundred. Yes. So what you gonna do with this five hundred that he give you? Whatever I need to do. Like what? Start a business. What type of business? Go on vacations. <laughs> Didn't I just say she's slow? She's slow. She's slow. She talk all this nonsense, but I'm sure with a buy her pizza, you can probably get her with a pack of pizza. <laughs> Why are you talking about a million dollars? And you haven't even seen twenty thousand in your whole life at once in your account. I'm sure of it. Man, you gonna sit your ass down with your Timu outfit. <laughs> hey, my guys, take notes, bro. At uh, what age do you feel like a man should uh, have his life together? 26. 26? So at 26, do you feel like he should have a million dollars? Maybe at like 32. So at 32. <laughs> All right. A man hits his financial stride, late forties, early fifties. That's when that's when men really hit their financial stride. <laughs> By twenty six, <laughs> By thirty two, you should be a millionaire. You better go and sit your ass somewhere, man. Jesus Christ, she's she's slow. Thank you so much. Um, my ex bought me a car and. I went outside last year in the summer and the car wasn't in when I pressed the beep beep. It wasn't outside. So he took Why are women out here dressing like drag queens? I don't understand this whole uh, this phase now where they put excess makeup, too much piercing, B earrings, crazy hair. Who finds this attractive? Looks like she's auditioning for RuPaul's drag race. This doesn't look like a real woman to me. This doesn't look like, this doesn't even look like a real human being. <laughs> <laughs> he 
like Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare from WWE or WWF. <laughs> That's what she looks like. She looks like Kamala or Kamala. What? Look at this. Your ex bought your car and you expect him to leave it with you after you broke up. If I bought you a pair of slippers, I'm taking it if we break up. Don't play with me. And I was burnt. I was hurt. I was devastated behind it. But I had to really think about it. This man is paying that car note. I'm the one to end the relationship and told him the f So when I told him, this wasn't last year. This is the year before last, actually. So when I told him it's done, he's like, you know, he let me rock out for five months. But then he was like, wait, she probably, she not coming back? All right. He left the car with you for five months. Man. That's a good man. And you broke up with him? <laughs> Two men out here think there's just an endless supply of men. <laughs> I bet you she can't go back to him even if she wants to right now. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dude probably moved on to something better. There's no endless supply of men. Man, is this is just a shrinking supply of men as the year goes on. It's a very sh small supply now because all of them are getting the passports and moving out of the country. Man, so he took the car back. I, I was pissed. I called him up. He didn't answer for a couple of days and he did. He said, am I with you? And I said, no. He said, so why, did, why am I paying a car note for you? And I get that because he's thinking you end the relationship. You gonna have your other man in the car? That's just realistic. We're not being realistic when we. They keep ending relationships left, right, and center because they think there's an endless supply of men. Wow. Think about stuff like that. So I was pissed. I was in my feelings, but I knew it was right for him to take his car. Even right. it's a, something that's significant. Let's go back. Dog. What's up with his beard, man? What's this have going on here? <laughs> that's unusually dark. That's black, black. Like you just emptied a whole tin of paint on your face? What is this? That's like tar. Like someone's building a road network on your face. <laughs> what is this? That's too much paint, bruh. Come on, man. Let's keep going. Everyone here is dressed like a clown, man. I can't take it. I can't take them seriously. If you're talking to me and you're dressed in full costume, I just zone out. I'm not listening to you. See, it's like it's Halloween. Look, look at all this. Look at this. Can't go to no swimming pool with this. All the paint in her hair, all this red, all everything's going to wash off. Yeah. You both have responsibility for it. So you are now the spender. You're talking from a dynamic of perspective of the person receiving, receiving the gift. Correct. The person giving the gift. Your hard-earned money that you... You can't be all fake from head to toe. Coming around on TV talking about you need a real man. What? Your eyebrows are fake. What are you talking about? I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like you said, you have children. So you really love this man. You put a car in your name for him. Now, you know he can't get around without the car and everything, but y'all are not together no more. That bill is still coming every month, $600, $500, whatever it is. You pull up somewhere, and you see him letting another girl drive it. No, I, I definitely understand that. And she I'm, made you know, sense, I'm taking the car back. I am. <laughs> <laughs> still, like, it's like my lifestyle and, like, example. So I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my... Where are they meeting all this man just buying them cars? Where are they meeting these people, man? <laughs> We're talking about them having entitlement mentality. They wouldn't have entitlement mentality if lots of these men are not funding that stupid mentality. Buying someone the, the Benz? Mm, okay whole life up differently than what it was normally and i feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out but we're still friends you know we don't we didn't have beef and no one cheated it was just didn't work out um but i still ex I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out i wasn't going to give him back my car because i'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together and i just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then what's the difference now you know what i mean you were my girlfriend I would yeah but i just i, would I just feel, yeah but i personally feel like no <laughs> this is my, when someone when someone start telling you i feel this i feel i just zone out 
I'm a rational thinker. I don't think on feelings. You don't talk to me based on your feelings. Can we rub minds and think like rational adults? A good guy. Someone bought you a Benz. Put you in a nice apartment. He's paying for He's funding your entire lifestyle. And I'm sure she broke up with him. So she doesn't want to be his girlfriend no more. But she wants the benefits. She wants to keep the benefits. But don't want to be obligated to him. You can't make this stuff up. And she's saying, I feel like I should still have all this stuff you bought from me, even if we're not together. Because I can't downgrade my lifestyle. You only have that lifestyle because it's sponsored. 